Hello everybody and welcome back to another little Isaac run we are jumping in today and we started with the prismic dice. Split a pedestal item into two pedestals of one less quality. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, we also got the cyber cutler automatically replaces food items if the player takes damage, he uh, heals for one full heart and removes the trinket. Okay, pretty, pr uh, pretty interesting this trinket. Seems like it's going to be um, not great unless we can not get hit, uh, which I... Yeah, <laughs> the trinket. We'll, we'll just we'll just pretend that didn't happen. But I'm I'm very interested to see how we go with this prismic dice here. So basically, we're gonna get more items, but of lower quality. I think anything of quality one will just take, but anything quality two, three, or four, I'm probably gonna reroll if I have the uh, the charge to do so. Because I feel like it could be fun to like just see and see what sort of items we could get. And honestly, like unless the quality four item is just like run changingly banging. Um, we probably just want to re-roll anyways and see what quality 3 items we could end up getting. Because you could probably get some really, really, really good stuff. I mean, like, there's a lot of quality 3 items that are very, very good. Now, I'm imagining the pool will stick. I honestly, not quite sure how you're meant to do this room without getting hit. So, congratulations to whoever made this little, uh, this little horribleness. Fiend Folia do be trolling. Do be trolling. Oh, we got Veiled Retro. So this is a good time to use this right off the bat here. And we get ourselves uh, Pillow Talk or whatever the hell this is up called, can be called. It's, it's got a pillow, so I'm sure it's called Pillow Talk. No, it's Cozy Pillow. Passive melee weapon that can be charged for a swing. And then we get our little Spooter. Okay, so it's just kind of a, a melee weapon that uh, is there doing a little bit of extra damage. And firing off feathers, apparently. Interesting. And it can be charged on occasion to do some extra stuff as well. I like it. 25% uh, chance to shoot a black tooth tear that deals extra damage, inflicts poison, um, has a special synergy with apple and wrapped candy. Interesting. I mean, at the minute, I think we're just going to take that considering we cannot re-roll it. But yeah, I'm going to be trying to do that quite often. I mean, that was a good item to take considering it was an active item as well. So let's do a full charge up on this and see... Okay, just fires more feathers on a full charge. And presumably does a little bit more damage as well. Let's see if we can buy a soul heart here. Uh, ooh, alabaster box. I wonder if uh, splitting a shop item does that thing where it makes each half into half the price. I'm unsure if that would be the case. How did that not hit? Can you stop summoning things for me, please? Thank you. Okay, I'm quite liking having this this melee here. It's a little risky to use, but I'm not adverse to risk. I will take a risk when one is presented to me. As for the question of the day today, uh, what's your guys' like take on speedrunning? Do you like it? Do you enjoy watching speedrunning or participating in speedrunning at all? It'd be really interesting to hear you guys' thoughts on that. Um, I've got an interesting relationship with speedrunning. I really enjoy watching it as content. I mean, I've watched so many games be, be speedrun, even games that I've never played or never intend to play. I've watched speedruns of. Uh, but I've also stood a bit of speedrunning myself, most notably in um, Enter the Gungeon. I did quite a lot of speedrunning. I, I made it to, like, third on the leaderboard at one point. I think it was fourth, maybe. Um... My, my time is, like, way, 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 way down there now. It's, it's, it's nowhere near as impressive, but... For the time, it was like five years ago now, maybe a little longer. Uh, for the time, it was a pretty decent time. Um, it was just above ten minutes. I still regret not getting sub ten minutes, but it was still it was a it was a fun time. And learning that game speedrunning is is interesting. It's a lot for for a rogue like it's a lot different than you'd think. Like it's nothing like speedrunning Isaac, for example. Isaac has a very very different way of speedrunning. It's a lot more luck based, but there there is genuinely some actual skill to speedrunning. Um, Enter the Gungeon, and plenty of other roguelikes as well. I know Dead Cells is the one that has a pretty good speed run. Um, but then also, another game that I really in uh, got interested in speedrunning and did quite a bit when it first came out was Doom Eternal. I sped run deep Doom Eternal a lot. That was a really bad way to lose my Devil Deal there. Can you not place Creep in that location, please? Thank you. I'm trying to use the pillow too aggressively right now. It's not a good idea. That's pretty terrible, but I don't want to split it because, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Um, let's, let's split these and see what happens. Okay, we did indeed get some level 1 items here, and they did indeed split the costs. 
Um, buying anything from the shop will destroy this. Okay. Well, let's first of all buy everything we need and then go for it. So we just get this. We just get a bunch of stats until we buy anything from the shop from now on. That's pretty interesting. I don't mind it. But yeah, we actually get a good few extra items there. Obviously of lower quality, mind you. But a good few items there nonetheless. Ooh, I like our visual that we got for uh, Robo Baby um, X or whatever the hell this little fella's called. I like the visuals for it. But yeah, I actually did a did a decent job of finding some strategies and finding some glitches in Doom, the Doom Eternal speedrun when it first... Uh, really held down. When it first sort of picked up and was first going, I joined the speedrun Discord and joined a few of the voice calls with some of the actual like people that are actually good at Doom speedrun I've been doing for a while. And... Worked with them to help find some strategies and stuff. Um, speed up, I don't mind that. I'm going to check out the Devil Deal despite my very, very low current HP. Um, hmm. I'm going to take that. What? That's... Bollocks. That's not a shop item. Yes, I pay for it, but you would not call the Devil Deal a shop. Come on now. I apologize if you can hear the ice clanking around in my glass, but that is that's that's some that's some rudeness right there, and I think everyone would agree. Now, my health is looking a little worse for wear. So we do have to be a little more careful using our pillow here. And I need to not rely on it quite as much as I have been, because I've been utilizing it in a way that's not ideal. What realistically, it sh I sh it should like have a sort of ranged charge up, where when you charge it to full, it can hit at a bit of a distance. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Um, so we're, we're having to deal with the fact that if we want to utilize it for any extra damage, we do have to get quite close. But the ex look at that extra damage. Is, uh, it's pretty gnarly. You can do some good stuff with it. I appreciate an item that's got some high risk, high reward. We've got to get very up close and personal. But if we do, some feathery goodness is to accompany us and the enemy's death. Never really know how to use this little robo dude. Sometimes he can be amazing like he was in that room. Other times he'll go like weeks without me seeing, seeing him do anything. I think it's just when he bounces directly over an enemy. But it's pretty impossible to make him do that, dude. Dude. Really? Twice? Twice I was hit by that. Oh my god, I'm going to die, aren't I? Okay, let's try and not die. I'm still going to use my pillow. I would like some health at some point, game. That's very good. I will just take that. As much as um, as much as much I do want to split that, I will take that considering it is a decent damage and fire rate up. I feel like that cannot be ignored. That hit me. Ooh, okay. Right, let's quickly go back and grab this. I mean, devil deals from now on seem just impossible for us. I mean, honestly... I feel like I've been playing the early parts of my run really badly for a while now, and I don't really know why, but I am, uh, I am pooping the bed a little bit. Well, that's the devil deal that we wasn't going to get. Now, what, can we survive it is the question. I mean, now I could just not use the pillow. This is a good opportunity to get two devil deal items. Unfortunately, both aren't great, uh, but... Devil deal items nonetheless. Don't mind if I diddly do. It still gave us an opportunity to get items that we otherwise wouldn't have gotten. And they didn't cost us uh, actual hearts either. Do don't actually know why I, I committed to uh, to doing this. I'm really liking this pillar, by the way. I, I, I keep saying it, but it, has, it cannot be understated how much I'm enjoying smacking things with this pillar. Like, as an addition to my shots that I already have. Very nice. But yeah, that, that was that was kind of interesting. Pound of Flesh, I, I'm not particularly down with the, uh, Pound of Flesh, but I'll take it anyways. The Ventral Spirit one, better. Definitely better. Bow. Ooh, that's going to help us with our boss. Because I think we're going to have trouble staying alive. Good stuff. And then in here, see, this is a problem. Now this costs a heart. That's that's not good for us. Now I'm gonna see what happens if I split them. Wow. Thank you for that gorgeousness. I 
Yeah, this is going to be annoying. Ooh, that soul heart is uh, is pretty clutch. Now, I could buy jumper cables, but I'm still going to split them, I think, and see what happens. I'm just going to use this. <laughs> Makes my life easier. Uh, feet is in a jar. I'm thinking I'm just going to take. I'm going to go and uh, see what happens with the rest of these over here. Okay, they do unfortunately all cost a heart, which I wasn't expecting. Um, guarantees an angel room will spawn at the next opportunity. That's kind of interesting. I think I'm going to grab that. Okay. Cool. Now, health is back to being sketchy again. But we can make it work. I like that idea as a shop item. So you, an interesting shop item idea. My ice clinkety clink. But yeah, I've got to be uber, uber cautious. Well, that's pretty useful, especially considering we got a cracked key there as well. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. Um. This is one that I think I'm just going to take right now. Um, because tears up is good and more items in our rooms seems like a useful thing for us. Um, and it means more potential items to split as well, which I like the idea of. Please. Oh, I was really hoping for a burn heart there. Right, this this guy is a uh, champion, so we got to be careful for him. We do have some bombs here, so let's uh, use a few of them here to try and uh, gamble our way back to some 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 life. Damn it! Okay, we do have to deal with uh, this jabroni. You know, poop out your kid. There you go. And in here we're getting. Ooh, wow, that is not great. Um. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna... Let's, let's reroll the item first here. So, Cretion. I'm gonna go again. Varicose Veins, I'm pretty upset about. <laughs> Damn it. So, Cretion, I should have taken. It did duplicate the item. That's kind of annoying, because I didn't expect that to work. Apparently, Yera Rocks do duplicate items. I never knew that. That's annoying, because that really could have worked in our favor. Oh, we got a HP up, lovely. So, maybe I'm getting a bunch of quality zero items there, and hopefully one of them is good. I probably should have done that with Secretion, obviously, but... Yeah, so this isn't a great room to do this in either. Yeah, we'll, we'll take both of these. Okay, we can only take one, anyways. Uh, right, I'm going to come back once I've got my thingy and get a bunch of quality zero items, which, honestly, I'm not thrilled about, but it's better than the items that are there. So I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Quality zero, boys. Here I come. And we get ourselves Isaac's heart, which I actually quite like. A dead bird and Bob's heart. I'm going to take all of these. And that's an active item, so we can't take that. I don't really know Isaac's heart's going to play with Bob's heart. I feel like that that's probably a, a pair that you don't want to mess around with. But we'll see. But yeah, I do realize I've been doing a lot of dice showcases recently. But there's a lot of interesting dice out there. There's a lot of interesting dice out there. And honestly, the way that I've been doing my showcase runs recently is I just re-roll with Eden until I get something that looks intriguing and then go from there. And it's been it's been working out to give us some pretty interesting results so far. The good thing now is I actually have a lot more ability to utilize my, um, my pillow because of Isaac's heart. That is exactly what we needed. Isaac's heart gives us a lot of leeway to utilize the pillow to the fullest of its advantages because we can get right up on enemies' faces and absorb shots without our heart being hit. So I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty down for this to be honest. I think this actually makes the pillar a lot more star, a lot more of a star of the show. And apart from when we enter a room and instantly it takes damage, that's not the most ideal. 
We did get our guaranteed angel here, though. That's lovely. Um, and unfortunately, we didn't get items. That is truly devastating. Please, one of these actually give us an item. Okay, good. Judas' shadow might not be what I was expecting, but I'll uh, I'll take it for now. Ooh, the lovers. Uh, spawns an item from the current pool. Uh, yeah, I will do that as well. Okay, Seraphim will be uh, downgrading all of these thus far. Ah, for God's sake. Cricket's leg actually going to take that, and that's very good. I'm just waiting to see if we get a payout from this before we downgrade. Okay, we didn't. I don't think doing anything to the key piece has any value to us, really. Okay, I do remember this guy fires lasers, which will hit me. Okay, boom. So, we, what we get here? We get ourselves scapula, which I actually kind of like right now. White rose, which is good. Rosary, which is good. Although, actually, White Rose and Rosary aren't the best because we're on max fire rate. Uh, Glass Idol, pretty good stuff. Okay, that, that was a pretty good angel deal and a pretty good showcase of how this item can be pretty darn useful. I liked that a lot. That was interesting. We managed to get a lot of items out of that. And our health is looking healthy. God, don't gotta worry about Kree. Pillar is star of the show here. These enemies respawning. Not the best for us. We can open that easily. Lovely. Stone chest. I should probably do that for the chance at a stone themed item. I do like terror. Damn. I was not so lucky. What the hell's that? Fire, fire and explosion immunity for the current room. Fire mind hot bomb effect for the current room. Kind of potentially interesting. Not really my bag right now, though. Okay, fear was nice there. Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. It's very, very nice outside. And uh, I very much want to go out. But uh, I decided to leave my recording till later in the day. I now regret that because I'd like to be outdoors right now. <laughs> Still enjoying myself here, though. Wow, that was, uh, was lovely, that was. We'll do that. The Porky Ally. Honestly, actually, I, I, I dissed the Porky Ally, but I think I can use him for a sack room. I didn't really think about that, so let's bring him along. He's not, he's not going to be quite as strong as a, as, a, as a burn boy. Good, good, good. Yeah, you do your explosions, my guy. Dude. Midas Touch, I've just got to take, because it's very, very, very good with our pillow setup we got going on right now. Because now we can walk directly into enemies for money and for dealing damage. This is good stuff. Isaac's heart is very, very nice with Midas. Plus this pillow. Sitch. Oh, I knew that was going to hit me. That's fine. This is good. This is very good. We will be on max money in no time. Max money only really helps by making Midas do more damage, to be fair, though. There's not really much else we're getting out of it. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. What's got going on in here? Boom. We split them all. Okay, we got Cultist Baby. Uh, that's pretty good. We've proved that that's been good before. Um... Oh, wait. I missed out on whatever this was. I, I think it was the, the milk item. I didn't realize it was going to make one disappear. I wasn't aware that was the way that was going to work. My bad, because I missed out on the uh, the milk item, which I really enjoy there. I'm pretty sure it was the uh, the fruity milk. Oh, bugger, this is a gross room. I'm just going to bomb my way out of this. I'm not dealing with this crap. I ain't dealing with that crap. And here, we don't really need our money, of course. But I will take a battery, just so we're ready. I know that damage taken isn't exactly the most, the best damage I've ever taken, but still, I wanted a charge. I don't know how the heart wasn't hit there. Okay, it was eventually. Yeah, look at that. 
Look at that. With Midas, it's it's insane. Um, I guess we'll split these two and we'll see what we get. HP up, I like it, and damage up, I like it. Okay, it's been pro been proving to be very, very good for us. Un momento. Oh, nothing to see, there you go. I just got a notification, I just wanted to check it. Right. Ah, oh, beautiful, two soul hearts makes up for a lot of uh, stupidity. Um, I guess I'll play the hell out of this guy for now. I don't need the money for much. Might get a battery themed item out of him. I very rarely see these guys pay out, so... We'll see if we actually get anything. We did car battery. I don't know how that's going to work, and it might be really bad. Because if it works the way I think it might work, it might end up downgrading our items two tiers, but giving us four. Which is good, but it does mean that tier what like... Every item has to be tier 3, otherwise it turns into nothing, right? If it's a tier 2, it goes down to tier... Oh, no. No, sorry. If it's a tier 1, it would go down to tier 0, which would go down to nothing. So tier 2 or above is the only thing that would be plausible. If it works the way I think it's going to work, which I think we all assume it probably will, right? I think we're all assuming it probably will. So let's see. Level 3. Down into... Yeah, level 1s. There you go. We got... So every item goes down to four items, which is actually kind of interesting. But level ones just disappear, right? I don't want those two items anyways. But this is, it, it's its worse in a way, and it's better in other ways. I mean, quantity over quality, not always a bad thing. Oh, can that face get out of the way? Dude, those are enemies. My god. I shit the bed when they see them. Yeah. There's something to be said for quantity over quality. Not every time, but on occasion. So let's actually see if our porky ally can absorb some of these hits for us. Don't know what the flibbity king heck just happened there. Honestly, no idea. But I got all of these boys, so let's, uh, let's try and create a room full of stuff now, shall we? A room full of items. Of course, the trinkets are going to be getting in the way. There's another one. And it's yet another item I don't like. And it's quality two. Good. As long as it's not quality one, we can be happy. But this is not the room I was looking to create here. That there is of quality three as well. Good stuff. Okay, two quality threes and a quality two. We're going to have a lot of items in this room. Especially if we can get this guy to pay out. Which I imagine with the money we have left, we will. So, level one will go into nothing, right? Yeah. It's a lot of nothing. Oh, no. Not all of them are nothing, though. Interestingly enough. We get ourselves a Celtic Cross. We get ourselves Almond Milk. I will, of course, take Almond Milk. We get that. Shard of Glass is actually a bit fixed now, so I'll take that. We get Brother Bobby. Cursed Eye, I probably don't want so much. Dunscap, I'll take. The Black Bean, I'll take. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I wonder if our pillow... Oh, wait, no. Does our pillow not work anymore? I don't think our pillow works anymore. Well, honestly, Midas does enough, enough damage on its own, so it's not a travesty to lose out on it, but... Yeah, I think, I think because of uh, our high fire rate, it no longer works. Okay, these are both two actives. This is pretty uh, pretty upsetting to see. I think we've got an interesting setup right now. Technically, we do have the ability to get into our boss rush here, so I'd very much like to do that if we can. It's unlikely now with these hands, actually. I'm just going to try and beeline it straight there. Right, we have 45 seconds. Honestly, with Midas, I think I can do it. There you go, we did it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, I'm confused. I did it. It says 1954, so where the hell is my Bosch Rush? <laughs> Excuse me? I have been cheated. Where's my Bosch Rush at? My Shadow. Ooh, these, these guys don't deal damage to me. Interesting. Uh... 
Um. Okay, tiny planet. Little hushy. Little fly dude. Little fella. Keybum, you're along for the ride, why not? IBS, no one likes you. So where the hell's Boss Rush? That's that's kind of BS. I I I'm gonna I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I kinda wanna che cheese it and um give myself Boss Rush, because I earned it, but there might be a reason why I didn't get it. I don't know. Anyways, let's go to our shop. Then we can skedaddle. But yeah, tiny planet as well with this m just monstrosity. I like it. I do like tiny planet. Game's getting a little bit framey now. A little bit framey, but nothing to worry about. Good thing is we don't actually have to shoot. I like to shoot. We don't have to. Midas touch will take care of that. Hit me? Are you fucking kidding? You're gonna make me redo that whole goddamn thing. I I walked into him to Midas touch him, and apparently he hadn't fully landed when I walked into him, even though definitely seemed to be fully on the ground. Won't be doing that again. That's a good item. Goddamn. Um, I'm gonna at least uh, do that and see what else we can get out of this. Bible cheese grater. All pretty bad. All pretty bad. Okay. We are Gucci. We're good to go. Eternal heart there is rather nice. Delirious rune. I don't think I'm going to get much out of that right now. Ooh, thank you. Right, down we go. This is not going the way I expected. I did not expect to be getting car battery alongside all of this craziness. Um, it's, 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 it's pretty wild. Okay, we're not going to need a battery charge for a little while, so I'm not that bothered about grabbing that. I'm probably going to Midas touch most of these rooms if I can. Don't know what hurt me there. Black Bean's doing some stuff as well. And I do need I do need to shoot a little bit. I can't get away with not shooting whatsoever. Got our Bernie friends chilling out here. Just gives us a bit more AoE than just having the Midas Touch ability. Card reading. Honestly, card reading I'm just going to take because it's, it's an item that I absolutely adore. Especially on the Womb Plus. Like, any further than the Womb card reading for the ability to skip straight to the, um, to the secret room or straight to the... Uh, the hell's still alive. Straight to the secret room or straight to the boss is awesome. Because the wound flaws and further, you don't really need to full explore. One. Two. I'm doing this literally just for an item. To uh to split in two. Please give me something higher tiered. Nope. <laughs> it just gives me a ton of stuff. So that one did split all of them. There was no level zeros there. Hey. Thank you. Killing enemies counts as being killed twice, causing on... Ooh. I don't think we have any on-kill effects, but I love the idea of that. We, we done here? Oh, nope, we're not. Come on, don't. Don't mess me around, guy. Yeah. Don't mess me around. Ease it. Have no idea where I'm going here. This is all just random luck of the draw, potentially. Yep, had a feeling. Any enemies that have the pop out of the ground, fellas, that I can avoid doing, I will bomb out of in a heartbeat. Bombing out of rooms, I feel, is just an ability that people don't really use that often in Isaac. And I definitely overuse it. Like, then I didn't have to use it. But I think it's something that people gotta, re gotta remember and keep in their wheelhouse of, of abilities. It's a pretty effective use for your bomb. There you go. We're smushing this guy. Easy. Blood clot. Boom. 
We get ourselves Spore Sack. Inflict poison on enemies around you. Spawn spores around the player for every other tier fired. Uh, which are Herming Spectral and deal. Paralyze the player for 30 seconds. Oh, wait. On, is that just on pickup? No. Hmm. Hmm. I thought it just paralyzed you on pickup. That might not be the best for us. That could be uh, that could be seriously detrimental to our speed. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> straight to the secret room, sadly, not straight to the boss as I was herping. That is also not mapping. So, oh my lord, that's a lot of spores. The hell? We didn't get paralyzed, so a little confused on how this item works. But honestly, it's creating a lot of nonsense. I don't mind nonsense. I don't mind a bit of nonsense here and there. They are herming and spectral and all that. I see that. Ooh, a soul heart back there. Honestly, we don't actually need it. Realistically. If I have to go back that way, then I will. Okay, now I'm paralyzed. So I think it charges over a certain amount of time. But... Maybe I get paralyzed for a little bit every 30 seconds, not paralyzed for 30 seconds. Maybe I misread that a little bit there. Because paralyzed for 30 seconds is a very long time, so... I think I'm more on the tune of... Yeah, we get paralyzed for a little bit every 30 seconds. But we gain a pretty massive damage boost in the spores. I think overall it's, it's pretty good stuff. How is there still an enemy left? Okay, there you go. Yeah, I'm still bleeding as well, so I'm throwing out some bleeding tears, which... Hasn't been too detrimental to us thus far. The bleeding has kind of worked on our side. I don't know where I was then. I think the black bean tooted me off in a round direction. Good, good, good. Oh, a devil deal. Hello. I have a lot of money, so I'm just going to do this and buy everything. Leprosy. Big chub. Weird that they're not necessarily devil deal items. Sanguine bond. Pretty interesting. We get monster man well. Unfortunately, not the best. Oh, it paralyzed me. God damn it. I was wondering why I couldn't buy the rest of the items. Um, duality. Guppy's Collar. Ghost Baby. Anarchist Cookbook. I like that. That was cool. Having this with electric dice is... is f electric dice just makes a lot of things more fun. Let's be honest. It really does. Fortunately, we got Secret Room again. Abaddon? Hello. Abba, what are you doing? Okay, I'm hoping this is closer to the boss, considering it's further away than the starting room, but... Hey, there you go. Straight to the boss. We love to see it. Where's our boss at? We're about to paralyze, I'm pretty sure. Let's get on him so we paralyze next to him at least. Eh, close enough. <laughs> this is actually not a bad item. The paralyzing really isn't anywhere near as annoying as I actually expected it to be. Might be in tune with uh, Isaac's heart though. Might be that Isaac's heart's helping me out a lot and preventing damage when I'm paralyzed. Just ram into him. Isaac's heart's great. People that don't like it. They stupid. No, they, they, people that don't like it nowadays are people that didn't like it before Repentance and have never given it a, given it a proper second chance. It, it changed drastically. Dude, can you give me the boss room one time? Um. Spugget. Somebody touch my spugget. Why does it get out of here? What's in here? Oh, we don't got them keys. I need a key game. For multiple reasons. Look at all the spores go. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely on the laggier side of runs, I've got to say. Still fun nonetheless. Skolex as well. Double trouble. 
Midas Touch should do a number on him. Although, apparently not. But it feels to do a lot more than it is. Okay, there you go. Now he's dying pretty quick. A key. Damn you. I'm sure I split these now. We got a key. Oh, Planetoid. Oh, Stranger Tractor. The Bean. I'm just going to go wacky and take them all. All that I can, at least. Okay. I don't know if Samson's Chain is going to do a, a decent job of protecting Isaac's heart from damage on occasion, but it might. Plantatoid is doing, uh, doing wild things. We love it. Extra fire rate on top of our already 18.65. Or 18.6, I think it was. Apple of Sodom. Can we take a little while and not get hit by anything? Apple of Pride, even. We're getting some good stats until we next get hit. The damage especially is very, very big. Can I have my Flame of the Inferno back, please? Where the hell's the flame gone? This is so confusing. There's so much shit in the way. There you go. Give me that. Let me go. Where our boss, where our boss, where our boss at? Yeah, uh, the Stranger Tractor's definitely doing the weirdest things right now. It's not probably the best for us. Can I go? Why, why is this going to be happening where rooms just don't end? <laughs> We're just turning everything. Everything into quality zero. We we I do wonder what happens if I overfill the qual like if I get every quality zero, what what does it do then? Does it just start re-rolling into random stuff? About ten thingy again. I don't even know how to keep track of what's going on right now. I don't even know where the boss is. Oh, we are using Spirit of Inferno, though. Somewhat. This is at the will of the game now. I, I've, I've got little to no control over what's happening at this stage. Having a lot of quality 1 and quality 0 items doesn't partic particularly mean a bad run. It's pretty wacky, i got to say. Imagine this if we had the goddamn fruity milk, though. It's an item I showcased pre uh, previously. That would have been amazing. Honestly, just 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 hit me and we'll we'll let it happen. There you go. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. That was a lot of fun. Very, very interesting showcase. Weird, but yeah, weird but wonderful. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.